All right, so I did an update a while back on restoring this BSR Dutch oven. This thing, uh, it got the best of me. And I started piecing the video together from start to finish, but I stopped because I'm not gonna finish it. This thing beat me. The lid I'm gonna keep, it's got some flash rust up in here. I'm gonna keep it, see if I can use it for something else or maybe I'll come across another Dutch oven. But this thing is horrible. Um, I started using water vinegar solution. It was tearing up my elbow. So I, I'm now doing an electrolysis and I've got some other pieces done doing that. But this thing is so beat up on the inside. I mean, it needs, it needs to be sandblasted or grinded out. I don't have all the stuff for that. So we may save it. Maybe I'll get stuff to finish it later on. But this thing is, it's rough. Real rough. It did a couple rounds in the electrolysis tank. Need some more, but I just don't have the time. I gotta get other more important pieces done. But I'll include a video or uh, include pictures from what it looked like at the beginning. It did come a long way, especially that lid. Definitely keeping the lid. This one, I don't know. I hate making flower pots. Maybe I'll find somebody else who wants to put more work into it than I want to. I was just doing this one for fun. There's no collector value in it because of its shape. I bought it for like five bucks. I just wanted to, something to play around with and say, yep, you can restore anything, but some things just leave alone. All right, well, that is it on this. And uh, maybe I'll save it for a rainy day, but I've got 70, 80 other pieces I need to work on, so. This is going up for now. Thanks for watching. Bye. Welcome back to Boku Vlog. All right, so I did a short video on this BSR to see if people wanted to see it or not. I got a few likes and a couple extra subscribers, so we're gonna get this bad boy cleaned up. The story behind it, I think it's from the 1970s, but the story behind this is uh, we were somewhere around Cambridge City, Indiana, along the highway. The guy was selling some uh, stuff out of his garage. Looks like he has a normal cell. This was laying outside. It's full of water. And I said, how much you want for this? He goes, that rest bucket, it's a flower pot, five bucks. Of course, I couldn't walk away from it. So I bought it. Um, it's, it's had a hard life. Again, I think it's from the 70s. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's pitted pretty bad through here. As you can see, hit it inside pretty good. It's going to take a lot of work, but I think we can uh, make this usable. It's not going to be pretty, but uh, we're going to see what we can do and see if we can at least cook out of it. Um, I may sell it. I may give it away. I may keep it, use it on a campfire or something, but we'll see how we can get this thing turned out. Um, what I'm going to do first is throw it in a light tank. And being from Indiana, it's not working really well because it's cold. I think it's February 5th today. It's like 40 degrees. It's starting to warm up a little bit. But uh, the light tank I have is in the garage. And I do have a fish tank heater hooked up to it. I don't run it every day. I don't try to run it when I'm off or when I'm working. I just run it when I'm off. But uh, we're going to get this into the tank here shortly. And uh, in the next few weeks, we'll take it out, see what it looks like. It may have to set a month. I don't know, but we'll see. Like and subscribe, and uh, we'll start working on this here pretty soon.